Yo guys, welcome back to brand new PDCGO Rebel Clash video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Vigavolt. And this card is pretty powerful. It hits like a truck. It is a very heavy hitter. And it has the attack powerful storm, which is 60 plus 20 more damage for each energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So the way that we can obviously abuse this attack is going to be through Charge a Bug here, which allows you to put a, on a Vigavolt or a Vigavolt GX as two lightning. And then of course we have cards like triple energy and twin energy for attachments too. We have electro power to increase our damage output. So in total, Vigavolt is going to be doing an insane amount of damage. The only thing that will be in our way is of course it is going to be a stage two. So we have to play rare candies to get it into play. But when this guy gets just you chain a bunch of these in play, it's gonna one shot a lot of stuff in its path. Um, and I managed to play against two ADP decks in this video, and I had very good games. I'm not going to spoil what happens in those games if I win or lose, but let's just say this deck, um, kind of surprised me. But anyways, before I get the video, guys, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Car Kevin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PCO pack codes, guys, head over to Car Kevin TCG. You can pick up your codes there, guys. If you have any codes or cards laying around that you want to trade in, you don't want to use anymore, you don't need anymore, if you haven't used the codes already and redeem them, you can give them to Car Kevin TCG and they will give you some cash or intro credit for your bulk cards or your codes or whatever you need, trade into them, what you can trade in. And if you get any other codes from Car Kevin, also, guys, of course, if you're looking for real clash codes still, you can get them singly, lots 50, all that stuff, all that jazz, you can get the evolution pre release kits, the theme decks for whatever set, pretty much. And of course, you get anything from Car Kevin TCG, guys, use code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your purchase. It will greatly support the channel, it'll help yourself out, and it will also support Car Kevin in the process so shut a Kirkman TCG check them out guys and make sure to use code LDF so here we go guys let's take a look at the Vigavolt deck I've got here and this is what I'm working with for my list and uh the deck surprised me quite a bit so we got the pack powerful storm 60 plus 20 more damage for each energy and that will add up uh, of course with charge a bug electro power and triple energy and twin energy also allowing you to do more damage I'm also playing capture energy in this deck too gets us more grubbins in play um, and this is what I'm working with. Now, I am playing at 4 Drachi for the Stellar Wish setup. I am playing 1 to Dene, and I honestly maybe want to maybe bump this up to 2 to Dene. Just, you probably want to have more than one in this deck, because to Dene is a very good card for Dede change. Sometimes we need to dig. So honestly, maybe playing 2 to Dene's is better than 1. Um, and I got a Mew, just to predict our bench from Pika and stuff like that. Um, that's all we got for the Pokemon. We're only playing the new Vigavolt. We're not playing the old Vigavolt that did 220 damage when you discard all energy. We're just going for this Vigavolt with Powerful Storm. Uh, we go into the items now. There's a lot of stuff to unpack here. Of course, we got four E-Powers for more damage. Uh, got some Evo Incenses and Great Ball. Uh, the reason I'm actually playing more Great Ball than Evo Incense is because Great Ball can find you Grubbins early on and maybe Dedenne in the late game. It's it's better, I think, to play Great Ball over Evo Incense, but you can definitely go down to two Great Balls and uh, two or three Evo Incense if you want. I got three Lure Balls, another very important card because it gets you back your Charger Bugs when you get knocked out and your Vika Volt. Uh, I got one Ernie Rod to get our Pokemon back. Uh, we got four Quick Balls to find our Basics. Four Rare Candy to go into the Vika Volt. Since we have so many important stuff in here, I'm only playing one Switch alongside the two Escape Board. And uh, again, maybe playing two Switch is good. Now I'm playing a Thunder Mountain too. And honestly, I don't really think this is even needed. I just had it in here because it's logical to play it. And with Thunder Mountain, you can actually attack with Dedenne. You can play Thunder Mountain. You can put like a Capture Energy or Twin Energy on your Dedenne. And you can use Tingly Return because the Light Energy has already been taken up through the Thunder Mountain. So that is one, I guess, reason to play Thunder Mountain. Um, but overall, I don't think you need this. I didn't really use it in this video, but it is in the deck. You can place it with a Shrine of Punishment or a Chaotic Swell. Or you can just quite simply... Play like a second switch or a third Evo Incense. Uh, now I'm playing quite a few sports. I'm only playing three research. I got two Mars for Cynthia, mainly because in the early game, when you can't get a Vika Volt in play quite yet, and you have to play research to dig, you sometimes end up discarding a lot of important resources you don't want to lose, I found. So I'm actually playing more just Marnie and Cynthia for Shuffle Draw. I'd rather Shuffle Draw and keep resources for the later game and then just dump them all just to get a Vika Volt in play. I am playing one boss order. There's no Eldegoss in here, no room I couldn't find. We got two boards, no other tools. Uh, we got three triples, two twins. The reason I'm playing three triples and not four triples is because you can use twin energy with basic Pokemon on your bench, and that actually helps you out sometimes than just triple energy. Because sometimes you just triple the active, you know what I mean? So, And also, twin energy lets you retreat your Grubbin for free into a Jirachi, so that's why the twins are, in my opinion, still good to play at least two. And I got two capture energies, just gets you a free Grubbin in play. That's it for my Vigavolt list here, guys. And uh, this deck can OKO pretty easily. It's a very hard-hitting deck. Vigavolt is a heavy hitter, so let's go try it out. All right, guys, get into our first match with Vigavolt here. We are playing against a possible ADP Zacian deck, unfortunately. Uh, so hopefully we're not, because that would be very bad and not fun. But we'll see. Uh, how are we going to start here? 
get a Jirachi. We have a Capture Energy start, so we could play the Capture Energy and get a free Grubbin down, which I think I'm going to have to do. Um, we'll see, though, what they're playing. It is ADP, and they got to go first, so they just they get the turn 12 integration off. <laughs> so fun, so fun, so fun. Fun times are had. I don't know. We can try to beat this. I don't really know if we can. Okay, there's the Dedene. They don't lose much, unfortunately. Well, I guess it was a boss order, which isn't terrible. Um, yeah, this ain't good, though. They're going to get Zacian here. At least our hand is actually, like, good, to be fair. It could be a lot worse. We could have just gotten a bad hand. At least we have a workable hand here against this monstrosity of a deck. Okay, best case scenario, they don't get a water. If they don't find the water energy here, that's going to be really, really good. Um, so we got a lot of searching cards. This is not the worst thing ever. So I'm actually going to go for that capture energy play. We get me a Grubbin in play. We do have Dedene, which is good, because I think I am going to go Dede Change here. Uh, let's play some Great Balls first. Another Jirachi, we'll take it. Play this. Charger Bug, we do not need that. So I kind of hope we can get a Grub in there. So we're going to have to go to Dene. Maybe I could take in the Charger Bug, because I can always get those things back with Lure Ball. That's fine. Let's just go for the Dede change. Didn't find a rare candy. There's a rare candy. Okay, we're chilling. We're big chilling. We might get Marnied, so we'll have to. I'll play that down and I'll pass. Hopefully, we don't get Marnied here. I could have Marnied them, but I'm gonna hold the hand. We have the rare candy. We have the Vega Volt. We have a Charger Bug. This is a pretty good hand. We just gotta hope we don't get Marnied ourselves. Unfortunately, though, I don't know if we're going to be able to take out this ADP in one hit, though. That's the only problem. We still have all our E-Power, so maybe we can take out the ADP. We'll see. We'll see. If we can not get ADP here, maybe we have a shot of winning this game. If they whiff the uh, Water Energy, we have a shot of winning this game, too, I feel like. So, we'll see. I mean, they do have two energy on this. If they don't have the Water, they could always go into this guy somehow and knock me out that way. They're going to have to go for another Dead A change, it looks like, though. Oh, they get an Eldegoss. Don't have a Marnie in there. Okay, good. They have a Cynthia. That's not a Marnie. That's good. <laughs> I was like, oh, they could Marnie me, and then I lose his hand. But uh, they're going to go Cynthia here. And we are going to pray they do not find a Water Energy here to get off that Altered Creation. Hey, they whiffed it. I'm, I'm just going to give them a happy face, bro. You just you love to see it, bro. You just love to see the whiff. I'm curious to see if they'll still do Alter Creation. Because if we don't one-shot this, then if they at least do the 30 more damage, they can knock out Vika Volt in one hit with Ultimate Ray. So, they could still do Alter Creation, but they really do need to take those two prizes. So, let's see. No, just Intrepid Sword. All right, we're chilling. That's really good for us. The whiff is real. And we get to Marnie them, so we actually get to do a lot of damage to them here. Um, let's go here. Go here. Play this. Try to get either a Charge Bug or a Grubbin. All right, we'll take the Grubbin then. And then let's go for the Marnie. Okay. Not bad. Uh, we can get rid of our own Marnie. And we can take another Grubbin, of course, because we need to get those boys down. Stellar Wish. Uh, we'll take... I think we'll take Rare Candy. Don't look like we got an energy here to attack them, unfortunately. Which kind of sucks. We can do a double Stellar Wish, try to maybe get more stuff here. Okay, I'll take the Lure Balls. Hoping we can get that, because then we can at least get the Vega Volt back next turn. All right, we're going to at least be two-shotting them, which I'm fine with. Uh, oh, we only have, I thought we had 170 HP. We don't? Ooh, rip. Um, we can also just do Thunder Jolt, which I think is doing more damage. Yeah, it is. So I think we just go for the Thunder Jolt. We don't really care about taking the damage because, okay, what? This could knock me out of one hit. whoop de doo We do more damage that way. Yeah, we didn't. We couldn't knock them out. Even if we had to get at least like a triple energy there to knock them out. Yeah, that kind of sucks. We were just short on the KO there. That's fine, though. We're still going to get a knockout before they take a prize with their Alter Creation, which is good. Um, so we could do this now, try to get back that Vika Volt. Hey, that is some luck right there. We get the one heads when we only need the one card. That is beautiful. Um, so let's get this guy into play. We can get the other Charger Bug on the Vika Volt. All right, we're chilling. We can Cynthia here. 
Another Grubbin's always good. We got a triple energy. We don't really need that right now, so we're just gonna take a knockout here with Powerful Storm. 200 damage. Thunder Mountain. We don't need it. Lure Ball's good. And another Electric Power. So hopefully they don't go for a Marnie or a Reset Stamp here. Because we do have a pretty good hand. We can research. We can do a lot here. Um, if for some reason they bench another ADP, we actually could win the game, I think, with Boss Order. But I don't think they're obviously going to do that. But we're chilling for now. We're actually in a pretty we're in a pretty good spot. As long as we get another Vigable in play next turn, we should be good. So I think we're in a good spot. We just have to hope that they don't Marnie us or Reset Stamp us. Because this is a pretty strong hand. Um, and we can win the game. Hopefully, okay, just please Brave Blade me. No, no supporter, no whammy, no whammy. We're not resistant metal, right? No, okay. No supporter. Beautiful. So we keep our hand. We're going to take out the Zacian here. But we're giving some good justice to some ADP, which is always good to see. And we're in a good spot once again. Ooh, good draw. All right, we need a bunch of heads on this lure ball here to make the most out of it. Two heads at the... No, only one heads. All right, we'll take the Vika Volt so we just get the rare candy down. So I'm pretty sure we can take out the Zacian without the triple. Or sorry, without what we really need. All right, let's go here, here. Might as well play that down. Go for the research. All right, nice. Nice stuff. Can charge a bug again. Put that there. We can ordinary rod here too, which I think I'm going to do. Just get back. The two charger bugs for sure. Get those back in the deck. Gonna stellar wish. Gonna skateboard. So they have a tool scrapper, so we don't have to worry about that ever again. So that's good. Um. So do we have a knockout here? I mean, I think we do. But do I have a knockout with Thunder Jolt? I can knock him out with Thunder Jolt, I think. Yeah, I think I just take the Thunder Jolt knockout. So I don't think Powerful Storm is doing enough damage to knock them out, unfortunately. Now, they will most likely fall with a KO of their own, so we have to recover from that. But if we can, we're good. There's a research. That should give us what we need to recover from the Thunder Jolt. So, yeah. I think we had to go for that. I don't think Powerful Storm is doing enough damage. Maybe we were... I don't think it matters. We don't really care about taking third damage anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much, but... We'll see. They're down... Five medals. They have only played one saucer. I mean, there's a very, very high chance they do get a another Zacian now. Or they can knock me out Zamazenta too if they want. And this does have the reducer on it too, which is a little scary. And Zamazenta actually has more HP than Zacian, right? It does. That's actually even worse. All right, there's a research. There's that water energy they needed. So best case scenario, they don't attack me here but I don't see how they're not going to get two metal saucers since they have 13 cards and they're definitely going to find one off so I wish they didn't find one already get some Marnie that's not a metal saucer maybe they don't have it they didn't get the metal saucers really really huh and they have to retreat into something tanky here they can't they can't use Jirachi Eldegoss or Ranguru or any Wow. We, this is the luckiest I think I've ever had against an ADP deck. This is the most luck I've ever had, man. That's nuts. They might have prized a couple metal saucers. Maybe that's why. That's insane, though. Holy cow. That's lucky. That is really lucky. Uh, we can just thin the deck out here. And, all right. Can we KO them this turn? Okay. We might have gotten a KO. We're going to have to see. I don't think... Oh, it is! On the dot. Oh, wow. That is... I was too lazy to count there. But, uh, yeah. We beat an ADP Zacian deck. Feels good. I mean, to be fair, we everything went our way there. They missed their second follow-up attack. They whiffed the turn two alter creation. I, I mean, bro. I don't know if I can ever get that lucky again against an ADP deck, if I'm going to be quite honest with you. Uh, but it's always good to beat, beat an ADP deck, for sure. It's always good to beat that. Alright guys, let's get into game number two here. We're up against AZ Hawkeye with what looks to be 
Maybe a Frost Moth, my Lope Day deck, just because the types kind of match. And that should be good because we are playing a Lightning deck. And we do get to win the coin flip, so we get to go first, try to get that turn two Vika Volt, maybe. Which we do have. And honestly, this hand is not bad if we can get it to Dene next turn. So at the very least, I can capture energy for either another Grubbin. Um, ooh, they're, so they're playing an Inteleon deck here. So... We could play the capture. We might end up losing it, which is not ideal. We could just go Jirachi here. I think I'm going to guarantee a second Grubbin, though. I don't think we're getting knocked out, though. If we can keep the capture energy, we can knock out this Inteleon next turn. Um, or we can try to high roll and hope Great Ball gets us a Dedenne GX. So I think I'm going to guarantee a second Grubbin. It's a little ballsy, but we can always hit a Jirachi off Great Ball. So I'm feeling safe about that play. And if we can keep the energy on, we just knock out the Inteleon here. As long as we don't get Marnied. And even if we do get Marnied, we're going to get, hopefully, a better hand. And just a snipe shot. Alright, well, let's see how this goes. What do we draw? Mew. Alright. We can bench that, actually. It protects our bench. So, we'll play the Great Ball. Just see what we get. Ah, uh, so we only get a Grub in there. So, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we can get a new hand. But, I'm fairly certain we do have a knockout here. Because this is not an Inteleon VMAX. If... This was an Inteleon VMAX. I don't think we would have a knockout, right? Yeah. So, we got lucky. Nice little cheap two prizes. Hopefully, we get a supporter or something. A, a quick ball. There's a research. You'll love to see it. We can even evolve the chart, the Grubbin here because we don't really need... Um, yeah, just concede. It doesn't really even matter. We didn't even really need the... Um, too many rare candies because, like, we're already hitting them for weakness. So, we don't really need to put that many... We don't need that many Charger Bugs, so we could afford to use a Charger Bug on a Grubbin to manually evolve it to try to get more vehicles and play that way. So that's one good thing about that matchup, I guess. I guess we'll do another game. All right, guys, jumping into game number three. That was a very quick second match, but it is what it is. We can move on and get into another game. Now, my opponent might be playing a Rillaboom deck here, which could be a tough matchup for sure. I am going to go first. It is risky if they're playing Egg Row, but I do want to try to go get that, get, get, can't talk, get that turn two. Vigavol going. We can get there by going second, I think. Um, I mean, this matchup might be okay. It might not be. If only Vigavol didn't have 150 HP, because it can get one shot by Common Hurricane. And all right, we do get a Grub and Mew start. Let's definitely start with the Mew, I think, just so we don't risk Grub and getting knocked out if we do get a bad hand. So we are going first. We'll see if this is going to be a Rillaboom. No, it's a Dragapult deck. Okay. Hmm. Let's play this. There's Jirachi. We could also take the Vika Volt and then draw rare candy. I think theoretically, though, we want the Jirachi. We're just going to pass. So we'll see if we can beat a Dragapult deck. Honestly, I don't really know how this matchup might play out. Um, it's good we went first, but I don't think that's going to matter too much. Oh, they play Spell Tags. That's a little bit of a bra moment. And they have Cat as well. Okay, so they one-shot my Mew, which is fine. Can bring in Jirachi. Let's see who we draw. Evo Incense. Right, let's see if we can get a Rare Candy off Stellar Wish. We do not. I don't think I take anything. I think I just go for the research here. We could play this. We could... I guess we can take a Charger Bug. Oh, we only have two. All right, we'll, we'll put a Vigable in the discard pile. Because this way, there's a chance we can get a Lure Ball and a Rare Candy here. Um... Which, we do get the rare candy, so that's good. We didn't need the lure ball. We do have a 3 CE here. So this can get us a Dene or a Charger Bug. We can attack them, which I want to do. There we go. We get a Charger Bug. So we can attack them here. Albeit, it is kind of risky to attack them. Because if they just have an energy to drag a pull VMAX. They're not going to knock me out, but they can set up a kill with that pesky spell tag. So it might be best to wait a turn to attack them. It might be best to wait a turn. We could switch in Jirachi. Maybe get a quick ball and then we can go like Dedene. And then we can get an escape board. Go into this guy. So we can try that, I guess. Maybe we should just attack them. I don't know. Yeah, we probably should just attack them there. Rip. There goes our triple. Let's set the first one. It's the second one. That's not good. 
it's not good. Yeah, so they would have had the Dragapult attack here, and then they, because they have this spell tag on, they just knock me out. So it's fine. Worst case scenario, they have an energy and a boss's order. They can knock out the Grubbin, and they can also hit put damage on this too. Oh, looks like we're going to lose our Grubbin anyways. Oh, maybe not. They actually decide to hit the Vikavolt. So they might just have a boss order and energy in their hand to knock out my, my Vikavolt. That would be hilarious if they do. Do they actually have it? Okay, nope. They have a Cynthia. That is not going to be a boss order. I'm actually surprised. They, I don't know why they wouldn't just put damage on the Grubbin. I mean, I guess they can still theoretically hit another scoop up net. But I am surprised they hit the Grubbin and not the... Okay, whatever. They could have taken a prize on my Grubbin here, which I'm glad they didn't. So do we want to even bring in Jirachi? Because we don't get an escape board here. We're going to be in trouble. We can always dig with the Dene because we haven't even played a Quick Ball yet. So I think we do bring in the Jirachi. We need to play as many cards as we can here. Uh, we're just going to go for the research. I could go Stellar Wish for a Rare Candy, which, yeah, we would not have gotten. Uh, we didn't honestly get the most amazing of hands, to be honest. Let's do this. Can we get a Quick Ball? There we go. All right. We are going to lose three Lure Balls, though, which is not ideal. Not much I can do about that, though. Okay. We get another Dedene. Yeah, we're just going to have to give up these lure balls. Ah, that's not great. Uh, do we have our Ordinary Rod in the deck? We do, so that's not bad. At least we have Ordinary Rod to work with. Uh, maybe we can knock this guy out in one hit. I mean, I highly doubt it. That's asking for a lot. So let's go with the Dead A change. Um, there's a twin. Hmm. I guess put that there because we're going to probably get knocked out. We can play this. Hope they don't heal. We're just going to go for that powerful storm. For only, yeah, 270. We were short. Yeah, we were short. And they can take two prizes here on my Grubbin. They could also... Um, they could do a lot with another Zigzagoon. So they can knock out the other Grubbin if they wanted to, too. Honestly, guys, this isn't a good spot. They can knock out all of my Grubbins if they get enough scoop-up nets. They could actually knock out every single Grubbin I have on board. Which is not good. Um, I feel like, yeah, I feel like the Dragapult matchup might just be one of your worst matchups. Just because... I don't know. They just, they just do too much damage. They can do too much damage. Again, this is where I wish Vigavolt had a little bit more HP. But yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to win this game, unfortunately, guys. It's not looking too good. Yeah, they got a baby blown, so they can just manipulate the math. There's nothing we can do about that, unfortunately. Okay. That's not the worst thing that could have happened. Just a max phantom. So no nets was good. I was a little scared they could get a scoop up net there. But they can put up a lot here. They didn't set anything up to be spell tag knocked out, which is good. They're only taking one prize, and maybe they still have a dead hand and they can't go Malamar into a Blacephalon. So I think we have to just go Cynthia here. Uh, we'll see if we can get a Vikavolt out here. We do. We get a Lure Ball. That is good. If we can hit triple heads here, guys, that is the goal. Triple heads. Let's see it. Nope. Nope. Double heads? Nah, not even, dude. Really? Not even triple heads. Not even. All right. Cynthia, hope for the best. We're out of Electro Powers, too. Okay. We got an Ornery Rod. That's good to see. Let's put back... To, we'll put like a charge bug and a Vika Volt. So I think we have most of our charge bugs. We'll be prized too. Never mind. Never mind. That's why I only put back the ones. I thought we had all of them in the deck, but we didn't. So that's a big rip. I'm just going to take a knockout here. And unfortunately, guys, we're probably going to lose this game. We're going to take too much damage here. There's not much we can do about that. The only way we can win is if he whiffs an attack with Bulcephalon. But he can also attack me with this. Yeah, I just we're not going to be able to win this game. We're not going to be able to win this. The Dragapult matchup. We played most of our resources. We're still going to come short on winning this game, I think. So I just don't think this deck can take out Dragapult. They also just win by knocking out Dedene. So there's like nothing we can do. We tried. We tried and we cried. We've also... Uh, yeah, you just can't beat that matchup, bro. You just can't. We're just... We're too low HP. All right, guys. Let's get into one more game with this deck, probably. We're playing against Greed here. And we'll see if we can take him down. I don't think there's going to be a Dragapult deck this time, which is at least a good thing. Because, of course, we probably just can't be Dragapult, as you saw. 
Um, so let's just see what we start with here. All right, double Jirachi starts so always good. We got that turn one grub, and we got a Vikavol in their hand. So if we can get a rare candy off one of these two solo wishes we get, that could be really good. We can get that turn two Vikavol. Now they could be playing a Negro deck or something else. It's another ADP. There's the rare candy top deck. That's pretty good. We'll take this. I'm afraid they're gonna Marnie me though. Unfortunately, we're probably gonna lose this rare candy, but we'll see. But other than that, the turn one rare candy, the turn two rare candy is really good. Another ADP deck here. We'll see if we can take out ADP again. We'll see. We've had some pretty good matches with this deck, though. We've won two games. It looks like we might go three and one or two and two. We'll see. They get that turn energy spinner, which guarantees them the water. Now, they could also only get... Okay, they get the two energy. So maybe they don't Marnie me here because they want to maybe hold the energy in their hand. There's a good chance they might just go with an Intrepid. So what? Welder, bruh. I don't even know if humans can make that noise, but this guy has Welder. Yo, this guy's going to rainbow brush me here. This guy's actually going to rainbow brush into an ADP turn two. And he has Absol. Okay, that's pretty frustrating. So now we probably can't even attack him unless we get our switch. This man plays Welder. I might actually just Marnie him, to be honest with you. Uh, let's see what this gives us. There we go. We got Charge Bug. Yeah, I think we're going to Marnie him here. Maybe try to take away that Welder option. Um, just going to go for that Marnie. Or take away the water. Marnie seems like the best play here. Okay, I don't know if we have the switch in the deck. We're going to go with a dead A change. We're going to try to get that switch if we can. I highly doubt we'll find it, but who knows? I've seen crazier stuff happen. Yeah, no switch. Um, Definitely take that E power. We can capture energy, the Jirachi here. Does this... Oh, it works on any Pokemon. All right. Uh, put that there. We can get ourselves another Grubbin down. So yeah, we whiffed the switch. That's going to suck. Maybe we should have attached the whole time, and then we can just retreat Jirachi. Jirachi might not be able to move. This Absol is pretty annoying. I didn't think people still played this, but we'll see if this Marnie stuck. It didn't stick. Never mind. We'll see what attackers my opponent plays, though. If they have a Welder deck, they might play, like, any attacker. I don't really know what they could play. I really hope we can switch. Maybe the whole... Yeah, maybe we should have just captured the Jirachi... There's a chance they just ultimate Ray me here too. We'll see. Worst case scenario, they I have they gave a boss I gave him a boss's order, and they boss's order knock out my uh, Vika Volt. That could actually happen. No, they're gonna go for the other creation. Still, they have a small hand though. There's a triple. We'll put that down. Get that Mew in the discard. Do we even have the switch in the deck? It is there. All right, we're just gonna Cynthia. I'm not gonna waste any E powers. Just I'm gonna just got the switch. Can we get an Evo Incense? Hmm, what's the best thing to take? The lure ball, maybe? Because then we can get another Vika Volt now. Alright, this is pretty good. Let's go for this. So, we might actually take out this ADP here. Now I wish I played that E power. It's fine, though. We got those double Vika Volts. Double Vika Volt gang. I think, yeah, I think we're short of the knockout, right? Or maybe not. We do have a triple on. All right, let's see. We play knee. I don't think we play knee power though. Let's see how much we're doing. Yeah, we're short on the knockout. So even if we played the e power, we wouldn't have KO'd them. But this is fine. They can knock me out. We have another Vika Volt. They have no attackers in play, so that's good. If they don't get another attacker down, that's gonna be really good. We got really lucky. We found that switch there. I honestly, genuinely, did not expect to get the switch off of that um, Cynthia at all because it's only a one of. This deck could maybe use a scoop up net or two. I don't know what you would take out though. You could cut down on some of the energies if you want, but I don't know. Like, having the a special, having the energy attack is really good. And they're just going to double ADP me, which is actually fine, because it makes it a lot easier to knock them out. Ooh, they're going to they're gonna knock them out to Dene, which doesn't really do much for them, because I'm never going to put another Pokemon on my bench again. I'm actually fine with this. They still have to take out two Vika Volts to win the game after this, so this is still fine by me. We can still very easily win this game. Knock this out. And we could possibly knock out this other ADP to win the game too. So we might be able to win this. As long as they just don't randomly attack me next turn with a non-tag team Pokemon. We actually should be able to knock out both ADPs. So unfortunately we can't promote Jirachi because that Absol. So we're just going to have to go all in with the Vika Volt here. And in fact, I'm actually going to bring in... It doesn't really matter which one I bring in. I was going to say because we can keep the capture energy. Can't retrieve that at any point. Drew a triple energy. We don't need that. I'm just going to put the twin on this guy and just go for the research. 
Okay. What is the play? Definitely a... We could go another Dedenne, but then we just lose. They have another boss order. I think we're gonna quick ball away. No, we don't need double Vega Bolts. We can just get rid of that. Let's get another Grubbin. And we are gonna go for the Powerful Storm. We are gonna take out this ADP. 200 damage. And next turn, all we have to do is hit... 270 damage, and we can win the game. There is a chance they stamp me. There's a chance they marty me. Um, if not, we're going for it. We've got another grub. All right, so if they do not get rid of my hand here, guys, we are going to be in a good spot. The only thing that sucks is we don't have access to Stellar Wish, which might be what maybe loses us the game, possibly, but we'll see. If they actually knock out this Vega Volt, that's actually worse because then we do less damage. So we got to hope they don't have a boss order. We, I just hope they don't. Okay, they just ultimate rain me, so... All we have to do is just do enough damage to take out this ADP and we win the game. Can we pull it off? We don't have extra Stellar Wish because of that stupid Absol. Um, I could manually retreat. We can also get back the Dedenne and then give us another Dedenne out. So we can rely on that instead. So I think we should be okay. We can put the triple energy down. We can do a lot here. We can do a lot. So we won't be able to use Stellar Wish. That's fine though. What do we draw? Don't need that. So we're definitely gonna ordinary rod here. Uh, we're gonna have to put back two dead Pokemon, unfortunately. We could put back the Charger Bug, but then we can get it back with Lure Ball. We can actually just put back the Dedenne. I didn't even realize. Never mind. So let's go Battery, Triple Energy. Here we go. So if we can get Dedenne, we can dig. We need to just get a lot of stuff here. And all right, look at what I'm seeing. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Ooh, we only have one Charger Bug left. Okay, that's fine. We just need to find E-Powers. Oh yeah, we have the other one in the discard. Alright, whatever. Let's, can we get the Charger Bug? We do! This is definitely game over. I think for sure, because we have Dedenne too. So this is Battery. Great Ball. Then the deck as much as we can. We got two E-Powers. And we're gonna go Dead A Change. I'm pretty sure we already knock him out, but we're just gonna go for it. Uh, only one E-Power, really? Alright, whatever. Here we go, guys. Powerful Storm. That is a knockout. That is a knockout. Yeah, 350 damage. ADP didn't even stand a chance. Honestly, maybe we shouldn't. We probably couldn't have won that game had we not found that switch. I genuinely think that's why we won that game is because we hit the switch at the right moment to get that attack off. But that'll be it for today's PC video, guys, on the Vika Volt deck. Uh, very cool deck. Honestly, it's cool when it gets going. Um, I don't know what I would change about it, to be honest. Maybe throw in a second to Dene. But then you have Ubis' chance of starting with it. Um, other than that, this was a pretty good deck. I guess we don't really need the Thunder Mountain. This honestly didn't really do much for us, but Thunder Mountain lets you attack uh, a lot easier. So I don't know. You could probably take out the Thunder Mountain and throw in a second switch if you wanted to. Um, other than that, I think this deck played good. We won a game. We beat two ADP decks, which is... I don't even know how we managed to pull that off. But that'll be it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed, drop a like on the video. Subscribe down below. If you're new to the channel, help me on the road to reaching 9,000 subscribers or 8,300 subs. Make sure to check out our sponsor, Kirkhaven TCG, down below, too. Use code LDF at the checkout. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter down below if you haven't already. Also, and I'll catch you guys on another video.